Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya! Hey everyone, welcome to episode number seven of the Math FSA Boot Camp. At this time, I'd like for you to go ahead and take your worksheet and complete the two problems for today. Press pause to do that, throw down all of your thinking, and then press play when you're ready to come on back and check your work. Now, if you're saying, Ms. McCarthy, I don't have the worksheet, just check the link below. It'll take you to all the worksheets that are available in the third grade series. All right, so pause the video, throw down your best, and I'll see you in a second. Welcome back everybody. This lesson today is actually pretty simple, but there's a huge focus on being fluent with your multiplication and division facts. So even though the problems themselves are not that difficult, not that challenging, I am gonna take them apart a little bit more and help you to understand it. I'm also going to incorporate the multiplication mashup that you can find on YouTube and also on my website. This is helping kids from around the world to become so much faster at their multiplication facts. So check it out. I'll be using it in this video today. All right, so first things first, taking a peek at question number one, looking at the style and noticing the question type right here. What kind of question do you think this is with four answer choices? Yeah, it's a multiple choice question. Multiple choice. Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and mark up our text. So what is the quotient, that's a division problem, of 35 and 7? So you need to make sure that you understand that quotient means that we need to divide. If it said, what is the product, then we'd have to do what? Multiply, but we're not, we're going to divide today. So really, if I were to convert this to numbers and symbols, it would be 35 divided by seven equals what? Now, like I said before, the purpose of this standard and therefore the purpose of this video is that you are fluent with your multiplication and division facts. So what I'm going to do is first use the multiplication mashup to solve this problem and then show you what you could do if you weren't quite fluent with it yet. I know that 35 is my dividend. That represents the total. So when I draw this out, I should have 35 total things. I'm taking those 35 total things and I'm going to divide them either into groups of seven or seven groups. I kind of like to draw out the groups here and then have my answer be the things in each. But you could also flip flop these around and do seven things in each and figure out how many groups. Either way is cool with this particular problem. Oh, but you know what? I said first I was going to use the multiplication mashup to figure this out. So what I'm going to do is take the seven song in the multiplication mashup and count and see how many sevens it takes for me to get to 35. What was the song for the sevens again? Oh wait, I got it. It goes like seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. 
I said 35. I counted by sevens and now I have five fingers on my hand. So that means that 35 divided by seven should equal five. Now we could use the five song to check that. Let me count by fives this time until I get to 35 using the multiplication mashup. Okay. Ah, nah, here come the fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You'll know them all shortly. 30, 35. I said it and I have seven fingers there. So that this means that the correct answer, the correct quotient, I should have written that here, or answer is five. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark B. I mean A. <laughs> um, we know it's not six. I think a student would have gotten 28 by not understanding what quotient means. It means to divide, but the student may have subtracted. Because if you do 35 minus seven, you would get 28, so that's minus. And if you did 35 plus seven, that would get you 42. So that would be finding the sum, but we're finding the quotient, we're dividing here. Let's say that you didn't know the multiplication mashup, you weren't really fluent yet. What could you do for this problem? Well, you could draw it out like this. Draw out your seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And divide out these 35 things and see how many are in each. It should be five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want you to watch how I'm dividing this out too. What I do is I keep dividing until I hit five and then I slash through. So that was seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, count with me. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Now it's time to slash. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Awesome. So we had 35 total things. We divided them into seven groups and we have five things in each. Five things in each. There's my five. But you can see how much faster it is if you know the multiplication mashup, which will help you get from, I understand what multiplication is to, I know my facts just like that. Let's check out number two. Here we are with number two. Do da, do da. I'm taking a look seeing a little question I'm seeing a grid right there that means that this question is a gridded response jot that down if you did not already let's read what is the product of eight and eight what does product mean that we need to do yeah we need to multiply product is the answer when you multiply. So what are we multiplying? Eight times eight. Eight times eight equals what? So because I want you guys to get faster with your multiplication facts, first I'm going to go ahead and use the multiplication mashup to show you how you could do this real quick. And then I'll go through and draw it just in case you need that strategy too. On the FSA, you just use whatever strategy that you need to use to solve the problem the best that you can. Let me model the multiplication mashup for you. I'm going to sing the eight song and get eight fingers on my hands and that will give me the product. Right here is the product. Here we go. Party rocking with the eights for sure. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, Ow! So I have eight fingers, and what was the last thing that I said? Besides ow. 64, right? So the product would be 64, which would go right in here. Now, for a gridded response, you can either write it here. It's a little bright. You can either write it starting at the left or starting at the right and putting four and six. Either way is totally fine. What I encourage you to do is to follow your teacher's lead. Whatever they've been telling you to do, follow that. Okay, I like to put them in the first couple columns. And whatever you do, do not just throw it randomly in the middle. Like if I put six here and four there and then bubbled it in, it would be wrong. Oh, the computer doesn't know how to read that. Okay, oh, Ms. McCarthy, I don't know the multiplication mashup. What could I do? Use a strategy that you know, maybe Maybe you know how to um, draw an array. Let's try drawing an array. So we have eight going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And 
that's going down, and then eight across. Already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna speed this up real quick. So here I have eight going down, eight going across, and then I could figure out the total, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, I'm just keeping track, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 48, sorry, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, whoa, I almost forgot, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 64. Okay, and then here actually is the multiplication mashup for the eights. Party rocking with the eights for sure. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, ow, 72, 80, 88, 9 to 6, party rocking with 8, can you handle it? Oh, awesome. Um, could you have drawn groups of things? Sure, you could have drawn 8 groups and then put counted eight in each and then counted up the total, that would have been fine too. Whatever you need to do, you have to focus on what you know how to do to better understand what you're trying to figure out. That's what you gotta do here, okay? All right, if, let's say that you need some more practice with your multiplication and division. Well, first, I want you to take a look at the multiplication mashup that's on YouTube. Y'all, it is going to change the game for you. Please check it out. Sing it every day. Just listen to it with your headphones on while you're walking home from school or whatever. So many kids have learned their multiplication facts because of the multiplication mashup. Check it out. I use it all the time. And in fourth and fifth grade, you need to know your facts like that. Otherwise, it's going to take you forever to do the math problem. So get it down now. I try to make it fun for you, so get it down. Second, I would like for you to head over to McCarthy Math 155 to get some extra practice. I have two units. Unit three is multiplication and unit four is division slash multiplication. Check those out. Now this is a membership. Your teachers can purchase it. They can share the videos with you all. You can purchase it if you want to. I have schools and even districts purchasing McCarthy Math 155 because it is a daily program. It's like a daily intervention to help students succeed. So please check this out. You can also try it out for free for seven days. So make sure that you do that. Also, I'm going to include the link to the how to pass the math FSA series that I created a few years ago. Now, when I created this series, it was based on a computer-based test and it's not a computer-based test anymore. So some of the problems are a little bit different than what you're going to see in this series in the math FSA boot camp series. This is the most up-to-date, but the older series, the how to pass the math FSA still has great practice for you all. So check out those videos. I encourage you to follow me on my social media platforms. That way you stay in the know. I am on Instagram at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm on Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. And of course, I'm on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. And while you're here, go ahead, pop that like button. Go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. That way you're the first to know when I release a new video. And finally, before I go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones, students, that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have the choice. We need more people to be kind in this world, y'all. <sighs> okay. All right, that's it. I'll see you on the next episode.